Hello, I'm Caroline Chappell. I'm a research director at Analysis Mason, responsible for our cloud uh, infrastructure research. I'm here today to give you my thoughts on this uh, new initiative, a new kit, I have to say it correctly. Uh, it's a difficult word to say, uh, but we're quite used to that in the uh, telecoms industry. So here are some thoughts on a new kit and uh, what it will bring to, to our sector. Work on the disaggregation of network software and hardware so that network software could first of all run on virtualized commercial off the shelf servers and later on a common cloud platform has been ongoing for a decade now. It's certainly not been an easy journey and results have been mixed, but there is an inexorable momentum towards a cloud based network. The NFV genie is not going to go back into the bottle. The announcement of Anuket shows, I think, that the industry's approach to network cloud is coming of age and that important lessons have been learned over the past few years. OPNFV has made a significant contribution to industry understanding of the telco cloud infrastructure stack and the automated pipelines needed to integrate, deploy and upgrade it. With hindsight, CNTT should probably have come first but this would have meant operators relinquishing from the start some level of control over what their telco stacks look like. In the early days of NFV, it was hard for operators to acknowledge that the cloud is a separate enabling platform for the networks rather than an integral part of them. The industry had to go through the pain of trying to maintain and onboard VNFs to idiosyncratic telco cloud stacks before coming to the realization that the network cloud is not in itself a competitive differentiator. It's the ability to innovate on top of the, a network cloud that will distinguish operators from each other. With that realization, CNTT was born. Now, Anuket can apply the learnings, tooling and certification capabilities from OPNFV in a more focused way around CNTT's vision of a single telco cloud reference model that can be implemented using multiple technologies today and in the future. Choice and flexibility will come if Anuket can lead to an ecosystem of tested, ready to deploy cloud stack components, or even entire cloud stacks that conform to its reference architectures. And given the level of industry support for this initiative and the long experience it can draw on, I'm confident that it can. Now, there is an important uh, imperative for the telecoms industry to drive the specification of a common network cloud right now. In the early days of OPNFV, there was an expectation that the telco cloud would become more like uh, the IT clouds of the time. But in fact, we see that the opposite is happening. IT workloads in a cloud native world are becoming more real time and distributed needing to run across cloud platforms in multiple locations, just as network functions do. And an emerging generation of enterprise use cases wants access to hundreds or even thousands of edge compute locations. These new applications also have similar compute intensive and low latency requirements to network functions. For the moment, the telecoms industry has a more urgent need than other sectors to build a distributed high performance, highly available network edge cloud to support the next wave of virtualization in the 5G radio access network. But if the telco industry can solve all the cloud architecture and implementation challenges for the RAN, then it will create a cloud that will meet the needs of many other industries too. This is an exciting prospect for operators, not least because of the new monetization opportunities it can bring. However, achieving this next step in the telco cloud journey will be difficult and it will require a lot of collaboration and knowledge sharing. A new kit needs to become the focal point for industry collaboration on the next evolution of network cloud. And Analysis Mason will be watching with interest the growth of the Anuket uh, ecosystem. The hope is that Anuket is flexible and neutral enough to become a point of reference for the entire industry. We certainly think that uh, Anuket's work streams are addressing the right issues, infrastructure automation, multi and hybrid cloud infrastructure and hardware abstraction. 
the network cloud of the future, and indeed future industrial edge clouds, are not going to be x86 only. They'll need to support a range of hardware acceleration technologies and multiple chipsets, and the ability to support resource scheduling across a heterogeneous hardware landscape is a key challenge at the moment. There are many more challenges involved in running the network on the cloud. So it's good to see Anuket's providing a bridge between two very different organizations that are network and cloud oriented respectively, the GSMA and CNCF. Now I've been uh, involved with NFV for a long time now. And despite all the setbacks, I'm still optimistic about the direction of travel towards the network cloud. I wish Anuket every success and look forward to seeing it uh, make a difference to the next chapter of the telco cloud journey.